Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine the oil paint filter with the pattern layer. Now, I'm just going to go over to a pattern. Of course, that's the first thing. Create a pattern. Go over to a layer, new fill, pattern. Click OK. And there's lots of different pattern designs. These are from Graphic Extras. They're uh, elastic pattern designs. But of course, you can use any other patterns as well. You can find on the web. Or ones that you create yourself. Okay, just click OK at this point and now go over to filter oil paint and it will come up with a dialogue. You've got to rasterize. Don't want to do that because I want to leave it as a pattern. So I can go to layer, smart object, convert to smart object. Now it's converted. Of course you can't actually move it at this point but you can if you actually edit the pattern. You can actually still edit the pattern at this point. So that's the key thing. So you can go to filter oil paint and it will and as you, you can actually see the underlying it's got transparency in the pattern so you can actually see beneath the oil painting effect you can actually see it nicely smeared I really like the oil paint filter for stylization you can set up to maximum set to the minimum to create a very smeary sort of oil paint effect for the pattern click OK and then it's applied now of course as with these things you can actually create another one you can actually go layer and new fill layer pattern click OK and maybe just just select that one just select one click OK and again you can actually see all these patterns have got transparency so you can actually see through them of course depending on the pattern you've got you can use blending modes as well of course so once that's been done I can actually now go to a layer smart objects convert to smart object and now go to filter oil paint and do the same thing so you can actually see that smeared and I can do it again oil paint click OK and it's smeared again right so again it's unaffected now if you actually use the duplicate layer option at this point before that you actually would end up modifying every time you modify the pattern this pattern would be the changes are reflected in the other ones as well so it's actually best to create a new pattern fill and not use the duplicate option in the fills okay so you've got this combination now and at this point of course you can just flatten image and combine that's it right so that's a quick easy way of using the oil of course at this point you can also it's no longer a pattern of course but you can click OK and you can apply the oil paint filter again and again. I hope you found this a quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to Graphic Extras channel. Always adding many new tutorials every couple of days. Thank you much.